Hello everybody, this is Bones. Today we're doing Lovecraft's Untold Stories, as you see here. Uh, right off the bat, I don't know how loud I want to make this. We'll see. Let's see how we do. <clears throat> Hopefully you can still hear me. We'll turn it up a little though. This is Detective John Murphy. It says a hard bitten private eye. Murphy hails from New Orleans Police Department, where he has served under the celebrated Lagrassi. Lagrassi is a French name, so that makes sense in New Orleans. Murphy is tough, straight talking, and has a keen eye for facts and targets. Lagrassi had a profound effect on Murphy. It wasn't just the art of detection. Ooh. Uh, Murphy learned from the old man. Well, that's kind of disrespectful. Don't call him the old man. And Lagrassi, he found the father figure he'd always lacked. When Lagrassi returned from St. Louis, pale and withdrawn after attending, of all things, the American Archaeological Society annual meeting and suddenly retired, and so rocked Murphy he also handed in his notice. And willing to work under anyone else, Murphy set up his own PI firm. And his desk, Detective Murphy, keeps the exquisitely crafted Gorgon statue Lagrassi left him as a parting gift. Now, uh, interesting thing about Lovecraft stuff, if you all don't know, you haven't read it, you, you should. Most of it's free on the internet now. It's uh, kind of like an open... I don't even know what to call it. Public domain writing, I suppose? Um, we have Lagrassi's telegram here in the prologue, and I'll get to that in a second. But it, a lot of his... He works in archaeological societies and finding old weird relics from ancient and forgotten civilizations and aliens. And uh, He's very heavy on even cults and things like that. So this should be an interesting game. And now we get a telegram here. We retire out of the blue. There's no contact for months. And then just a telegram reading... Murphy, stop. Chateau Hill, Massachusetts, stop. Bring gun, stop. Urgent help needed, stop. Bayou cult, stop. And then it says, well, I'm here for you, Lagrassi. We're also going to turn this down a little because it sounds like this just all of a sudden got very loud where it was not loud at all before. Uh, and I would like to note if you're watching the screen here, you can see that pendant, that is the elder sign used to ward off. Oh, okay, and, uh, oh, I like this, I like this. So we can move and shoot at the same time in all directions, that's pretty useful. And e is your general purpose button, it says activate button, but kind of general purpose. I like games that have a, I call it a context button. Because it does different things given the context. So if you're near something, it looks like it opens it. If you're near a door, if you're near something else that interacts with it. I like stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using just these and the arrow keys, maybe, or if I'm fine with that. If it's one of them. And it says each character has his own unique abilities, which means we unlock other characters. Some abilities, such as throw explosives, require the presence of special items, such as explosives. That's logical. In the inventory of the character. Uh, there's our inventory. There's I. There is our map that is tab. Use the free space reasonably. Our mini-map will help you navigate the maze of the game. If you get lost, use the mini-map to find the exit. Uh, each of the two stores uses its own currency and its range of unique products. Also in the stores you can sell items you do not need. But not every item sold will be valued by the owner of the same store the same way. Uh, the store the same way rather. So we got a lot to cover. So let's get started here. First off, um, bird's eye view graphics. Layered. This reminds me a lot of old um, Metroid. So this is kind of like a tutorial. I like his jump here, that he does this tactical roll thing. And it looks like to the right, and unfortunately my mask is probably blocking it, but there is a stamina meter I see to the right. So I think that's interesting. Uh, now that looks like the elder sign and some words scrawled. Interact. 
It's a pile of cigarette filters here, Lagrassi's brand. Move on. So, that's the kind of detective this guy is. He's down and noticing brands of cigarettes. And uh, you may think I'm mocking that, but I'm actually not. Small details are important. I have an eye for detail. I'm told. I notice small things, and I think that that's a really undervalued thing. Now, I thought I saw a little treasure chest over here, so we're going to go up and boom! Oh, well, crap. Iron lock. It seems that this lock can only be open with a special key, but I'm guessing is iron. Uh, and this is our... I like the way they set up this here, the inventory. There's a bag, you can even see the straps on the bag, and then up here it's stuff for your guy. So that's kind of cool. So I won't be able to open that yet. So that's something to remember, that that's outside of the house, if we need to get out of it. Or I guess if I find an iron key, then I know where to go. Now we are taking our way up here. There's a little mini-map I noticed too, and you can also hit these things. So, oh, we found ourselves some dynamite. We want that. PNT. Sorry, seeing an ACDC. Alright. So we have beat the shit out of some boxes. We have shown them who's the boss. Oh, we got ourselves a little med kit. So this and jumping requires stamina. It wants me to reload. But I don't need to reload yet. But at least I know how now. So this is kind of like a nice introduction to the game mechanic. It's pretty fast. So it's easy to pick up. This is Lagrassi's old detective notebook. He must have kept it with him when he retired. The pages have been torn out. So we're moving on. And then it seems like after I explore something, they drop that little sheet of paper for you. And it's like a, a thing there. Oh, crud, what is all this? I like these boxes. I open boxes, I got TNT, I got mines, I got grenades. More TNT. Let's open more boxes, geez. That's like Christmas right there in a game like this. Um, I do not know what in the world that was. That's, that was my phone. From the Abraham Lincoln skit. If you all have not seen that skit, then I encourage you all to see that skit because that's exactly what that is. that's from and it's funny. Several sets of footprints. I'm sure there was a struggle here. This does not look good. It doesn't look good, rather. No explosives that I can do. No, you idiot. I'm doing the wrong one. We're going to use a mouse, not the arrows. I feel like the mouse is. What am I doing? There we go. Game for the boxes. God, the explosives are loud. Um, I do apologize to everybody. It was a Discord thing, apparently. Old mansion, and here you are inside. You're enveloped by the twilight and the smell of old furniture. The walls of this old mansion are thick enough and impenetrable for extraneous sounds. They reliably keep their secrets and only distant rustles, and your heartbeat are audible. So, uh, the description work is good, but what I'm kind of drawn to a little bit here is if you look at the marble floor, you can see a reflection, and I think that's a cool little detail. Because, you know, they look like they tried to go with the 16-bit game here, graphic-wise. Why don't you start off on the right, on the right, and there's an elder sign scrawled on this. Oh! Get some money. Like that. God, this is a big place, so I'll say that. Try going down, maybe? I don't like it when it's this eerily quiet in a game where I need a gun. That always means something bad is coming. <laughs> like, this is the calm part. Before all the death and the... Oh yeah, see? There's something there. I'm 
shit. There's a cultist. Say hello to the cultist, everybody. That's no, a dead cultist. Is he the only one? This is a big room. There could be more. Oh, I found a key. That is a gross looking key. Bloody key. I was correct on that. And I'm finding some different books here. I don't think I can use them, but I will see in a moment. We're going to go to my inventory and see if I read them, maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so basically these are probably items you sell to the shopkeepers. I just wonder what they mean about how different ones would give them to me. I can go up and connect two of these rooms. So we're going to do that first. In case I need to know what I'm doing or get anywhere faster. At least I'll know what to expect in that room. This is lit up. Uh, an incongruous statue of a kneeling woman as if she was protecting herself from her attackers. The detective in me says, take a closer look or I can ignore it. Let's take a closer look. That's terrified. It's an early realistic, like a tiny three-dimensional photograph. The proportions are perfect. When I get close, I could swear I feel her shallow breath on my skin. Alright. Well, that's just fucking unsettling, really. I mean, when you think about it. Okay, so I can go back down and go to the right where I've been and up. Or I can go up or right. Uh, let's mix it up a little bit here in this place. The controls are pretty easy, I will say. Whoa. Well, that was weird. Okay, so now I've also connected these two rooms. Uh, a doll cabinet. Um, a small handmade cloth doll wearing stitched clothes that look just like mine. There's a set of beautiful hand carved pins next to it. And a little gap for the doll scenes with some stuffing poking out. I can use a pin to pin the doll back together. I can poke the stuffing back in and put the doll back to do that. Oh, I glittered. I don't know what that means. Maybe it means I'm in a twilight book now. I hope not. Somebody out there that likes Lovecraft is probably ready to kill me for even making that association, but still. Of course I'm kidding. There's no way Twilight to hold the candle to, to work the Lovecraft. As most of you know, I... Have, well, you should know by now from watching this channel enough. I'm a big horror fan, so this game is pretty cool. Um, and while there's blood and there are things like that, it's not overdone. This book is entitled The King in Yellow. Fuck, no, I'm not reading that. Uh, the King in Yellow was actually from a different horror author, but supposedly the effects of reading it were the same as the Necronomicon. It would drive men crazy. So let's not put myself through that bullshit and read it. We're getting to the point now where I have three rooms that go down. And I now know there are cultists in this game, which means if there's one, there's bound to be more. We're going to do our little bronze lock. Okay. So, we found an iron and bronze chest. So I need special keys for them. One of them, then, should be a bloody chest, maybe? A uh, paper covered in the grass, these notations that I can make out Shete Hill put up us put us uh, put up as bond for the Bale of Castro, the Bayou's cult leader. So now we know the name of the cult leader is Castro. There is another chest. Oh this time stuff came out of it. A silver anchor. That's interesting. Although still fitting in with Lovecraft, a lot of his stuff took place at sea. Uh, and I, I guess that's it for that, eh? Not much else I can do here. And yet, there's a exclamation point on this part of the map. I don't know why. 
I've unlocked the chest, I've done everything else I think I can. Um, am I missing something? Are there hidden walls, maybe? Passages? I'm not sure. I, I'm, I don't think there are, but I very well might be wrong. I'm going to press on for now anyway. Oh god. So when these, I see these symbols, that's a warning, they're cultists. That is not a cultist, that is a straight up creature of Cthulhu right there. Holy shit. But we're not done yet. That was crazy. That was crazy. Uh, the controls are really easy in this, I'll say that. So once you learn them, you shouldn't have a problem relearning them. So this time, we're going to try left instead of right. Oh! Should have checked the damn ground floor for this there. Or at it. Let's actually go up the steps and check. I can't remember what movie it is, but there's like an 80s movie where there's a cop in it and he says, check the surrounds. And I always laughed at that, so we're going to check the surrounds. If anybody knows what that movie is, let me know. Just, I guess put in the comments or something. I don't remember it at all. But it was a movie. Okay, shit. Shit, shit. There's a monster again. Oh, what is your name? You're not Yub Shigarath. What are you? Where is it, Yub Shigarath? I don't believe it is. I'm literally fighting a creature from Lovecrafts. Oh god, I shut out a candle and the candle went out. That's pretty crazy. It's actually kind of cool, but... Kind of shut and alone kill this thing. I don't know. I guess it better, eh? Eh! He slimed me, he slimed me, guys. Did I kill it? Is it dead? I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to heal. I literally think I killed an Eldritch Horror. I did! So they are killable, they can die. Found a bronze key. And there's a chest back there. Are you for a bronze? It's a bronze lock, obviously. The bronze key should go in the bronze lock. Hit open. And I found a golden bug. What do you do? I don't know. A golden bug. Teleports me to a safe and random place. I will be using that, I'm sure. And I definitely need to use that healing thing right now before I even go in another room. Let's look around. So that got very heavy very quickly. Um, I did not expect to be killing something as important as an Eldritch Horror right off the bat. That's a big deal there. And that looks like a trap if I've ever seen one in the forest, so we're going to ignore that shit. Because I don't frankly trust it. Oh! Apparently I can do some little... Oh, no, that still hurts. I was going to say, apparently I can do some cool little rolling thing, but the rolling thing doesn't help. Golden lock. Alright, well, I don't have a golden key, so that sucks. And I'm bleeding to death now. That is not good. Oh, God. Is there any other way to get past me? Okay, if I walk diagonal, I can get past him, apparently. I am not a fan of the way that one is set up, and I don't even think I have any more locks, or keys rather, so I don't know why I bothered with that. At all. At all. Um, your ammo seems infinite, which I like, because there's a lot of, a lot of monsters in the game, so I feel like having infinite ammo is a little more fair, I suppose. It's also nice that you do get some war warning in the form of that weird, like, madness gibberish that's in a room when you're going to be dealing with a creepy crawly or a cultist, but, well, that's new. Set of European armor. Let's examine it. Let's see. Great with the words. You're all going to have to pause and read this, because I'm not going to butcher French that badly. Sorry. 
I don't like that its eyes are now lit up. If that thing comes alive, I'm so gonna be dead. There's no way I won't be. Holy cow, that is Cthulhu. That is a statue of Cthulhu. This idol has a head with the form of an octopus, uh, and that's because that is Cthulhu. Um, so there's where I came from. Lots of question marks around the mansion right now where I can explore. Now it's kind of a matter of... I know what's up there. I'm just kind of keeping that open. Oh, okay. So there's stuff I can... I grabbed an arm. I don't know why I need that. I guess if I need a hand, get it. Eh. I know. But these are the jokes you deal with watching me, so deal with them. Alright. So, I've already read that one. So, Ranker. Now, I feel like the rooms have moved. So I think maybe that's something this game does, is it moves the rooms around. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm nature. I'm a little, uh, spooked to go into one of these, because I don't know... Oh, but there is another one of those damn things. There he is. Yeah, I'm, like, getting my ass kicked, so we're gonna warp out of there. Safely. Now I know that that room has a bunch of death in it, so I don't need to worry about going there again. Uh, so, good call on that golden bug thing. Now I do have explosives I could use. And I might, down the road. First we're gonna go in here. I still haven't seen a damn shopkeeper. I was promised a shopkeeper. This is an articulated doll of a naked woman with geisha face paint and black hair holding a fan up to cover her entire face. Apart from her eyes, I should leave it. Because I'm not that stupid. I know no good comes from that shit. Now, I can go back to the death room. But we're going to avoid the death room. We're avoiding it actively. Uh, I don't believe I get experience points just for killing them, so... At least until I get a better weapon, maybe. And some more supplies, we're going to be avoiding the death room. As I'm calling it for now. I'm going a different way, we're going to go this way. Watch, I'll walk into another death room. So this is the tab tab for the, the tab tab. This is the map. Uh, I don't. I like to know where a shop because at least they're the culprit. Damn, they are tough. I'll tell you that. We'll do one last quick run and then I'll call it here. But uh, I'm only in chapter one to remind you all. That's how tough this game is. So this is definitely not a cakewalk kind of game. It's like the guy from uh, another game I recently covered, Witch Hunt, said no hand holding, definitely no hand holding there. Well, I should probably be breaking more boxes considering I just got some shit out of that one. That box was loud and sounded like I broke something important, but I'm not paying for it. Okay, so I can't go outside the mansion yet. Well, we're going to try going to the right. And the reason is because I want to see if the rooms change or if they stay the same. I believe this room is different than it was. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not thinking right, but I believe uh, it was different and I believe the items were different. Which would mean that the rooms change as you play it. Not as you play it, but each time you play it, there's an uh, album of photographs, I should leap through it. Uh, and I'll let you all read that. That one is long, so I'm not reading all of these. Uh, 
I was actually impressed that I could actually shoot out the candlelight, even though I didn't mean to. It's just kind of a interesting thing that they would put that in the game. Well, we found our first dead end in the game. That doesn't happen often. Well, I guess we'll try the lower left again, because I've had such good luck with that. And again, I think Calcus. I believe that was there last time. Him. And I'm also bleeding a bit, but not bad. You spare one of these since I'm picking another up right now. I don't really know what's in this room. A chest is in this room. I don't think I have a key, do I? I don't have a key yet, so there's no reason to continue there right now. Thinking strategically about this. Nice. Get him on the first hit. Obviously, what I'm really looking for here is a, a second weapon, maybe a better gun. One of these cultists must have something in the way of firepower. Uh, I think they were using spells on me or something earlier. They were casting something, it looked like. Yeah, yeah. That's magic. Almost like a spider web thing they were using on me. There are two in this room. And none more. So I'm at least laying waste to them, but I do feel like I should be having a better weapon. Jesus, fuck, are there no end of these guys? So that time they did some damage to me, so we need to heal. Um, there are a lot of cultists in this. I feel like they could have probably spread that part out a little more, but I think this game's still in early access, so, you know, they rebalance things here and there, but uh, definitely maybe a few less cultist in rooms near the start. Just to, just to help people. Oh, okay, so the when you do the doll room, that actually heals you, so that's good to know. It would have been good to know before I wasted a health kit, for sure. But I know it now, at least. I'm grabbing everything I can out of every single room I can, because, uh, apparently I don't know how long my guy will live. If I don't get him toughened up soon, then probably not long. So far he has had ass ticking after ass ticking. If that's with an odd assault of things, I'm gonna take the Ankh. I do something. Oh, okay, I got it. It's uh, the Egyptians believe that the sign protects from evil. So, all right, we got a little protection at least from maybe some of these. I don't think this will stop all of them, but some of them I hope this helps from because I can lie, they're quite tough. I don't even know how much money I have. I should probably check that too. Uh, I have $320, I have a bunch of information, so maybe information is what one shopkeeper wants, and the other takes money? I don't know. A bunch of these question marks seem to lead to this room. Um, which is a pretty room, ornate. I don't know why I can't pick up... I would like it if I could pick up one of these swords on the ground, you know, give you a little melee weapon to mess with something. Um, not questioning the developers, just curious, that's all. So that room connects to a few other rooms I've already been in, so I'm just going to open those doors so I know I've been there. And then we're going to go, uh, I guess, one way or the other here. I'm going to go up. Always go up, you can I feel. Oh, there's a key. There's a silver key. I've not seen a silver chest yet, though. 
But obviously, as we learned earlier in this game, you need the right key for the right chest to do that. Like a Blue's Clues thing, I guess, so... We would do that. Let's open this. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's easy to get overwhelmed by the cultists. I would like to see them work on that a little more personally, but that's just me. Golden lock, and I have a silver key, so I'm shit out of luck. Uh, things I do like about this game are pretty much everything else. I think it's... The art style is decent. The, uh, aiming, despite my shitty aim, is not that bad, honestly. I mean, you can see as I'm getting the hang of it here, even a room full of three or four cultists isn't that much of a big problem for me, so... The controls are solid. Um, the graphics, I feel, are appropriate. You can tell they wanted to go with the little retro thing, and they definitely did. And I think it works well for the game. It's not out of place. The music is actually pretty good. It's not overpowering. I don't like it if I play a game and the music distracts me from the game. Well, we're gonna search the ashes of a player. Okay. Oh, shit. I shot at nothing. I shot at nothing. Well, at least I can say I'm officially a real detective now. <laughs> you know, this place just keep shooting random people. Knock it off, please. Stop shooting random people, please. Oh shit, that guy there is just some sort of... Now that's a bit unfair. That dude has some sort of... weapon, but... I have cover, so we're going to make use of my cover here. We're going to heal. I don't know if that's a creature I'm seeing down there. I think it's a cultist behind some sort of metal-like shield thing. Damn, that he just... Waste me. Alright, well, guys. So I believe that is it. Uh, we're going to call it here. But I'm Bones. I hope you enjoyed the game. Make sure to subscribe to us if you haven't already. Give us a like. Uh, share some of your tips for the game. If you know stuff I don't about it. Or your thoughts on the game below. And uh, until we see you next time, thank you very much for watching, and you guys have a good day.